this video is to show you how to change your existing customers, customer ship tos, sales orders, and purchase orders to HST compliance as of July 1st, 2010 using the Sage Tax Change Utility for Sage Biz Vision 7.2, Sage Biz Vision 2009, and Sage Biz Vision 2010. The first step in obtaining the sales tax change utility software, you have to log into your custom portal lo located at https colon forward slash forward slash customers dot sage north america dot com. Click on the log on on the top right and enter in your username and password or user ID and password using the email and the secure password that you have and click the log on button. Once you successfully logged in, click on Documents, click on For Customers, Sage Biz Vision Accounting, and click on Subscriber Downloads, and go to the Sage Biz Vision tax, Sales Tax Change Utility.zip. Click on that and save your attachment, preferably to your desktop, and click Save. Once it saves, you can click on Open, click on File, Extract All, click Next, and extract this utility to your desktop. Click Next, show the extracted files by clicking on Finish, and make sure that Show Extracted Files is enabled. You're going to get a Sales Tax Change Utility.exe and a PDF file explaining uh, what you need to do, uh, the steps you need to do, making backups, so on and so forth. It's preferable to print out this file and to review this file uh, before initiating the sales tax change utility. In order to install the utility, I will double click on the Sage Biz Vision Sales Tax Change Utility.exe. I'm going to click on Run. and it will present me with a installation menu. Once I click on Next, it will begin the installation by hitting the Install button. This program will detect the Sage BizVision version I have installed, whether it be 7.2, 2009, or 2010. It will install the program uh, required for that particular version. I click on Finish, and it will create an icon on my desktop. Let me close these screens down and log off my portal and I'll close. You'll now see a sales tax change utility for my installed 2009 7.3. The most important thing to do before initiating the sales tax change utility is to ensure that a proper backup is completed of my data files. Uh, in the event that uh, a restoration has to be done uh, to check uh, integrity or to do a trial run. My data directory is stored currently under C colon backslash business vision backslash demo. I will make a copy of this demo folder before proceeding. I'm going to make sure everybody's logged off business vision including myself. I'll hit exit. I'll go to my computer my C drive, business vision, and my demo folder. Right click, go to copy, and I'll edit and I'll hit paste, and it's going to make a quick copy of my files at the bottom. As you can see, it's making copy two of a demo. We just wait till this finishes. Okay, now that it's finished, if we go to the bottom of our directory, we'll see the copy two of demo, demo which is com now complete. What I'll do is I'll log into Sage Business Vision, and I have to make an HST account before proceeding any further. So let me just log into Sage Business Vision.